Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. I am of course here again with Never Named because we just decided it'd be fun to do another. Yeah. We don't hold back will be left off. Yeah, yeah, we literally are uh, recording this straight off the back of uh, Monday's episode, so... Oh, actually, actually. If actually, you don't get actually. something good at this Paradox start, uh, there is some, some more unlocks in uh, my mod. Ooh, okay. Um, we got Magic Man, which... Seems to be a hat with a flower on it. Oh, it's going to launch then... rabbits, isn't it? Probably, yes. Um... And then sapling bullets. Um, no. Oh, it's it's got a pistol under the hat. Look at the animation when you fire. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's 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 cool. cool. That's also. cool. <laughs> What, what, so what am I doing for these, for the unlocks? So, in this update, I added two new boss rush unlocks. I don't have boss rush unlocks, dude. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Well, I guess that's what we're doing this run then, trying to do the fucking elevators, because you're a stinky idiot who won't do I, his I, fucking elevators. Oh, what the hell's going on right now? This gun's, I think really, this this, is, this, this gun's really broken. I think this, this gun might be, it might be controller doing it. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna restart because that thing just doesn't work. I'm just trying to get something different. It's, I apologize cool if I haven't made that. It is, a, it is a very interesting item, but and you shouldn't have to consider controller plebs. But but sadly, I am such. But sadly, some of you fuckers insist on existing. Okay, so this time we got the funky bullets and the well gun. Yeah, uh, well gun has a chance to regenerate ammo when you kill enemies with it. Ooh. And this is just like a very average sort of ma ma machine gun mm -hmm. pistol, isn't it? It is C tier, if I recall correctly. Yeah. But we've got additional fire rate, lower spread, slightly lower damage, slightly lower shot speed, better reload speeds from our funky bullets, which is quite nice. The, the well gun is basically the counterpart to the well rod. Yes. The well, it feels good. Because... It, 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 for a C tier, it feels reasonably strong. It feels on the there are, on the higher side of the C tier. There are because oh, the well also gun. Also, people that give us the, bouncy bullets too. I forgot about that. The well gun and the well rod are both real weapons from real yes. life. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, they're both made at the same place, which is why they both have well in the name. They were they were pretty prominently used, weren't they? Uh, during the war. Yeah. Well, obviously during the war. When else are guns prominently used? Depends on the country. I suppose. <laughs> That's actually quite true. I do have to say, this may sound a little... Not, I won't say mean, but like, the shading feels off. I don't know what it is, but the shading doesn't look right. Because I couldn't use too dark a grey, otherwise it'd fuck with the outlines. Ah, I but, suppose yeah, the so, shading, yeah. The shading is too light, it looks a bit too washed out. Because, again, I can't use black because Gungeon's outline yeah, system of course. really doesn't like it when you use black in your outlines because it's racist. <laughs> Did you see that in the, uh, in the one of the most recent Isaac updates, they finally changed it so the internal name of Black Markets wasn't racist placeholder? Why would they change that? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, after all of this time, it's literally Black Market, since the, since the dawn of Isaac Rebirth, their, their internal name for Black Market Rooms has been Racist Placeholder, and they finally changed it. I think they changed it because um, SlayX uh, put out a video pointing it out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see why they would change it, quite frankly. That's <laughs> one of the best jokes in the game. <laughs> sad thing, it's so funny. Oh my god. Right, um... But yeah, we were talking in the last episode about me going to New Zealand, because I want to do that. It'll be very, oh, yeah, very no, good. He's, he's like a massive simp. He wants to come over here and suck my toes. Pretty much. To, to be fair, New Zealand seems infinitely better than the UK in basically every single way I can imagine. Um, so, I really want to come over it's, there. It's like, it's like the UK... It's like when someone has a, a child who grows up to be, like, way better, <laughs> better than, than the parents. Them. Yeah. 
the UK basically uh, like got new, didn't get New Zealand to where it was, but it was part of the foundation of it. But then New Zealand ended up being way better than the UK by the end, anyways. So I think there's a secret room to the left of that uh, chess room. What the fuck is this? What the hell noise does this make? <laughs> it's a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> I love that That's so, so much. Good. Oh yes. Also, okay. you know, Today you we're wanted doing to this. do a remnant run. I did. Wait, let's just do the first floor first. Let's not be an idiot. Uh, oh god, I used to love those barrel of monkey toys, but they're not something you see very often these days. I was like, wait a minute, what is this? Then I realized that, I, yeah, I love this. <laughs> I wonder if it has a synergy with the barrel. Oh, it, it should. Better. It better. They're very slow, but I love it. Oh my god, it's really hard to hit this thing. It better do good damage. It with, does. Like, yeah, it really holy does. Holy shit, yeah, that's good damage. <laughs> I don't think this is the best boss to be using this on, I'll be honest. <laughs> I love the noise it makes. Why is the noise so funny? It, it just sounds like a guy going, Whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It sounds I, I like one of those custom sound effects. It sounds like one of those slide whistles. Oh my god. It's like an extended version of Tim Allen going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, essentially, if I do end up coming to New Zealand and Hopefully, if uh, well, almost definitely at that point, I'll have probably revealed my face in some way or another. So I'll probably do some actual IRL videos with Never Named. That could be quite fun. Oh no, yeah, he's gonna come over and milk the content straight from my teat. Yeah, I, I, I don't really actually like you. I just use you for views. <laughs> and we all know it. Don't forget the remnant. Yeah. But yeah, I think that'd be really fun. I love how the uh, the brown chest looks like the eye of the oh. <laughs> well, this thing nope. actually has a new v visual effect in this. New update. V v v v Shut up. Wait. I need to f work on my stutter did because I, in I, this update, did I update? Like when was it updated? I haven't. Up I haven't up oh, you mean oh, you mean this gun? I thought you meant the broken remnant. I was gonna say I haven't updated upon that side. I, I meant the. Oh gun. god, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> completely forgot what you I was doing. take it and then you just immediately forget. <laughs> oh my god, I shat myself. Yeah, so Blowgun has some new VFX. Oh, because... the Blowgun, yes. I remember it's, it's saying in the uh, patch notes. Doesn't it, it like stick, stick the Blowgun darts to the wall now? Oh, that's so good. Does it not work on lower walls? That's a bit sad. Oh well. It, it um, technically does work, but the VFX is too low down to see yeah. through the wall. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that room scared me a bit. Right, what, what's what's this big fucking shotgun again? Is this the one that, that is used by the uh, shopkeeper? Yes, that's Bellow's shotgun. Nice. It, it's, a, it's a good shotgun, but it's it is. not like... It's got widespread, hasn't it? Super... It, it's a good shotgun. It's kind of like the poor man's big shotgun. Yeah. Because it does a, like a flak burst on each shot, but it doesn't explode. Yeah. Right, we were gonna do the elevator, but I think broken remnant's more important now. I mean, wanting to do a broken try. remnant run. No, but I've said nerf myself so heavily because I've not done any of the elevator quests yet. You know, so how I have about, to pretty heavily about, nerf myself. In between now and then, <sighs> just fucking cheat it. That's true. In, that's in between true. now and next time we record, just fucking cheat it because nobody will care if you skip the elevator challenges. Yeah, to be fair, I, I should. They're like the most boring unlocks. They are, and it means, it means I'd unlock the air key as well, which would be nice. Yeah, and we can do boss rush finally and unlock. Because something I've been trying to do with my recent updates is I want to add a boss rush unlock for each character. And then I'm unable to do any of them or test any of them for you. So, apparently there's one for the convict, one for the shade, one for the Paradox, one for the Gunslinger, and one for the Pilot in the mod in its current state. Nice. And you can't get any of them. No. It's five unlocks you can't do until you do those fucking elevators. I think basically what happened is not only is it that I just couldn't be asked for the elevator quest, but also upon making the uh, boss rush unlocks, Never Named completely forgot that boss rush was an unlock. <laughs> yeah. Which isn't yeah, a bad that is thing, but it. it's kind of it's kind of funny. <laughs> right, 
we've got a mini boss here. I'm, I I'm love ready. That, I love that. I love that thing when we first went into the. Uh... Oh, got with the bouncy bullets too. This is great. When we first went into the. Um... <laughs> yeah, we just broke it. <laughs> what the fuck's this? <laughs> yeah, we, we thought it was broken because there were only two elevators. That is this is just more uh, damage for glass guanstones. Yeah, five damage five for every glass guan Is that it? And plus one guan every floor. Ah, uh, it gives you one every floor. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> it still makes me laugh every time. The fucking noise. If you want to benefit from glass rounds, just don't get hit for five head. <laughs> You almost just said forehead. No. Well, I mean, yeah, forehead. I would have said forehead, <laughs> but it, it's funnier to say five head. Something uh, <laughs> like I've oh god, I've never really addressed it, but I do have like it's not like the worst stutter in the world, but it is a pretty bad stutter. I thought you were gonna say like I do have a really big forehead. <laughs> I've never really that addressed too, it on but YouTube. I have a long, <laughs> I have a long fringe which I'm able to uh, yeah fight it with. <laughs> I, I don't have a stutter as such, but because of my dyslexia, or at least what I assume is dyslexia, I'm not technically diagnosed, but I definitely know I have it. Um, but, um, what the hell's this thing? Oh, it's fucking cool. That's what it is. Oh, what the hell's this thing? I love it. It's uh, a new gun I made, the Rebond the Rebondier. Fuck this. This is so good. I like this. <laughs> they get slightly stronger with each bounce. And I've already got plus one bounce. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this. That's a great weapon. The visual effect and sound is like... It's, it's one I'm so proud perfect. of. Oh, I love this. Like, this is one of those ones where I made it and I was like... I'm very happy because you look at it and you think Bunny could have made this. Yeah, that is exactly it. Like, that, that, that's not to be rude to you, but I am immediately assumed this was a Bunny weapon. Because, like, Bunny is one of the best artists in he's, yeah, he, the he's a Yeah, he's a master of visual effects and sprites. He is. Yeah, like, I, like I, 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 say, I, think... I say artist in general because it, he's good, he's amazing at sprites, but not just that, he's amazing at visual effects in general. Yeah. Does keyboard work any good? I can't remember. Every floor it takes all your keys, converts them into uh, a piece of armor each, and a um, permanent pl plus 5% damage increase for each. Yeah, I'd rather have my keys, I'll Actually, be honest. I think it's, I think it's 7%. Yeah, keys are usually better, but it does get quite useful. Like, yeah, I can imagine it's a, that's it. Is, a, it is, is a lot different. of armor. Okay, you can't really abuse the bouncing too much with this gun, but that, that's a good thing. Check, uh, I was going to say check for a minute. Eh, this gun's okay. Right, uh... Got some good stuff going on this run, though. A lot better than the last run, I'll tell you that for sure. So, the thing with this gun is, I, the reason why uh, its split works with bouncy bullets and will work with other bullet modifiers is because I didn't give it the flak effect, because I didn't know how. Ah. <laughs> so I made a completely custom uh, bullet splitting effect. Jackpot of Greed. What the hell? What, what? what does Jackpot of Greed do? What, what's what's the Jackpot unlock? of Greed? You just got the unlock. Oh. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, when you killed the Beholster, you got the Jackpot of Greed unlock. What does Jackpot of Greed do? I have no idea. I SAID THE LINE! Ah! I accidentally dropped Funky Bullets there somehow. Um, that's not a minute. God damn it. I'm just gonna kill it. Monkeys go! Fucking stop hitting me! I don't think that deals damage to you. <laughs> go, monkey, go! Okay. It needs to be a slide whistle gun. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Right, uh, let's just use the well rod for a bit. 
on to the next floor. Doing pretty well so far. Yeah, if you do come down to New Zealand, I would take you around the local natural features. Nice. I gotta say, very New nice. Zealand is just fucking uh, beautiful. Well, the UK does nice have fight. some very beautiful areas, but not like New Zealand. And not anywhere near I where I live. Try to, I heard someone try to describe the UK as, you know, if you were trying to hide, like, from the police in the forest, <laughs> you would be found by an elderly couple taking a stroll within oh, the hour. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, the amount... Like, my, my uh, girlfriend's parents are pretty outgoing and, like, they, they sort of go, like, holidaying around Britain and stuff. So I've been a few times with them, like, to different, like, countryside um, cabins and stuff like that. And it is very much like that. You'll go out walking in the middle of nowhere, but there's still people there. They're just like, there's just like elderly people just walking everywhere. <laughs> the walkers. But as well, like, everyone's just, when, whenever you go out in places like that, everyone's just so friendly and nice. <laughs> like, you, you'll go out and like everyone, literally everyone that passes you will be like, hello, how are you? Like, having a nice day sort of thing. Um, it, it's really nice. Like, that, that, that's generally just not how the UK is at all anywhere else. <laughs> like, if, yeah, someone, like if, if someone said hi to me passing me in the street next to my house, I'd be like, what the fuck? This guy needs to be put in prison. What is, what is, what is, why is this person saying hello to me? What's going someone on? Someone walks past and says hi to you and your immediate response is like wondering if they'll ever find your body. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. If someone, if someone walks past me near where I live and says hello, I'm like, what does this person know about me? Like, what, what's going on? Why are they, why are they stalking me? <laughs> is this famous YouTuber the Turtle Melon? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's, it's it's kind of a weird thing to first when it, when it first happens to, to find out, but it is nice uh, that, that everyone like that goes out on sort of nature walks is all side of the same mentality. Everyone's so nice. And yeah, like New Zealand isn't a massive place, but it's bigger than the UK. And yeah, uh, the forests so, aren't yeah. as crowded with you know octogenarians. <laughs> and you, you just have like a, way better nature than us as well. It's a lot hillier, which deters the old people. That was close. You see how close that was to destroying my chest. It doesn't deal damage. It did. It turtle. literally destroyed the chest. Synergy chests automatically break upon opening. The, it, it destroyed... The, do you not see it when it destroyed the brown chest? The, 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 if this thing hits the chest, it, it, it does damage it. I don't believe you. Fucking... Right. Right. Okay, this is going to be the test. Another one. It's a lot of, It's a lot of damage. I don't know what must have hit it at the same time, but I swear it did damage. They look, look. Oh, well, you know, you know, my stars. I guess you're right. Bunny, Ooh, please fix. Mister, Mister Gunjun Lawman doesn't seem to know his stuff. Mm. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. I don't know about the fucking damage inflicted by the goddamn, uh, the the advanced dragons fucking petrify attack. I don't well, know how that interacts with chests. Well, how? Why? Heaven, how, why heaven forbid. Why haven't you done your research, Mr. Lawman? You're supposed to know this shit. The people are counting on you. You're going to have to make a video apology about this. I think I'll just take the easy way out. Throw <laughs> myself yourself. off a bridge. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll throw myself under the advanced dragons. Uh... Petrify attack. You know, get turned to stone. I, I, I read something the other day. Some I read something the other day where parents are trying to sue um, officials because officials Secret say room, that someone way. that someone that died via twenty stab wounds committed suicide. <laughs> They're trying to claim. He shot himself twice in the back of the head. <laughs> Stop trying to destroy my shit game. Oh, nice. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah, it's someone that died by a 20 stab wounds and the government is trying to claim that she committed suicide. It's like, what? I genuinely, like, got How? someone with... Like, I genuinely got someone with that, uh... Like, twice in the back of the head <laughs> joke. I was like, yeah, he it was a tragedy. He committed suicide by, two gun uh, by three gunshot wounds to the back of the head. 
And they're like, um, three gunshot wounds? Don't you think that's a little silly? How would he do the other two? I was like, hey, don't be disrespectful. It was a real, <laughs> real, like, event. It's a bunch of evidence. They found the dump. They found the gun in a dumpster down the street. <laughs> and they just believed you. Yeah, for some reason they didn't seem to pick up that I was joking. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. I think the dual wielders are a bit too common. I think they're too common as well. I did. I have already. I have already let Apache know that. <laughs> like you need to cut their weight by half, maybe even two thirds. It's like in that last room, right? There were six bulletkin, and four of them. There you go. There's were, two. Yeah, like the ma the majority. Yeah. In these past few rooms, have been dual wielders, and considering how much harder dual wielders are, I'm gonna say, baseball, like, it's not a good thing. <clears throat> the, the thing is, as well, is it's not even that they're difficult. They fire very, very differently than normal bullet can, and I don't just mean they fire twice the amount of bullets. They they fire way more sporadically. They're not as like they don't have time between each shot, sort of thing, like the bullet can do. It's not a specific set time between each shot they can fire. They fire really sporadically, which makes them very unpredictable. Yeah, like, I don't have a thing about them exist. Uh, without, about oh them yeah, existing. I love those I, enemies, I like but... the fact. I like the fact that they replace bullet kid, but I think they should just do it less. Okay. I feel like this gun and this gun could have a synergy. Why? Because they're both like laser projectiles, and this one has the this one has that like bouncy laser uh, projectile synergy. I think that could work quite well. I guess, but maybe not. I don't know. Rabondo has a couple synergies. I could add it to one of those, maybe. Yes. Right. I need keys. What my shop? What my shop? What my shop at? Wait, what the fuck? Hey, what's, what's this? This room okay. was the same room earlier on the map. Oh yeah, it's that one. <laughs> it's Except that twice. one didn't have any enemies in it. So someone's someone's accidentally left in a duplicate room. It might have been me. Is it? Did, did you make that room? I don't remember. There's a high chance that I did. I don't think that's a vanilla room. No, it's not, well, no. Clearly, it's not a vanilla room. It might have been me, and I might have done that intentionally. Actually, now that I think about it. I think I did do a couple duplicates, just like with different enemies. Is Veteran Shotgun any good? I can't remember. I don't know, I didn't make it. Let's try it out. Try out the Veddy Shotgun. Ooh, okay, we'll take Black Hole. Right. Veddy Shotgun's definitely a planet side one. A shotgun mm -hmm. that oddly resembles shotgun wheel by ah, shotgun can around well, the Is that one that, uh. It's that one that does enemy looking bullet? Yeah. That's going to be confusing as all hell, but there you go. Um, <laughs> let's use this thing for a bit. My toes are going numb. Is it cold in your house, or are you just sat weirdly? I'm sat weirdly. I say, I can't imagine it'd be cold where you are. I always forget, like, that it's not oh, winter no, it's, for you at all. Like, it's it is winter, really but it's warm. not, like... New Zealand literally has the opposite weather pattern to the UK, pretty much. Although you don't get yeah, anywhere near as cold, even summer. in winters. It's the height of summer. Yeah. Oh, you I mean, bitch, I got hit. You... You say we don't get anywhere near as cold. And, and that might be true. But at the same time, you know, being in the path of Antarctic chill isn't... Well, well, well isn't what, what, how cold does it get in your winters? It doesn't snow in low-lying areas, but it snows up on, like, hills and mountains. But like, how many degrees like, does it get to? I don't fucking remember. Like, oh, the iceberg. Negative four in the evenings. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that. That's cold, but yeah, UK usually gets quite a bit colder than that. I think it was like minus thirteen the other day here. Oh, lovely, charming. That's the one that you spawned for testing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna take the, the junk. Don't worry. I don't know why you broke that one when you have a key. Because the next floor might have better chests. Yeah, but like, we don't judge people based on the quality of their chests, turtle. I do. You fucking bigot. 
twice this recording i've made a joke about you being racist and twice. i guess you maybe you should just stop being so racist <laughs> maybe i should just commit and be racist don't dare <laughs> i'll fucking destroy you how, how what's the easiest way to be racist against people from new zealand <laughs> <laughs> Oh my good lord. It's not a good weapon for this room. No, we don't really have that many unique stereotypes. No, New Zealand's not one of the countries I really hear about having stereotypes, to be honest. But like, one of the- even the most famous one, we don't like even get it to ourselves. What's the most famous one? Well, we share it with the Welsh. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> nah, I, I, I've not really heard that before, so that's not... Ah, not fuck! Like... No! Oh, 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 why is this here? <laughs> it just keeps showing oh, up. Did, so did something break? Almost definitely. I hope that's not one of mine. Oh, I'm wiggling my toes and each one brings me that fresh pain. But for some reason I'm into it. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, you know, pins and needles has always been one of those pains that's really bad, but also is like, you you really want to keep yeah, like, making yeah, yourself yeah. feel it. For some reason, it's one of those pains that turns everyone into a masochist, I feel. It definitely is. And like the thing is as well, it's one of those pains where it's super avoidable. The moment you feel your leg or whatever going numb. Wait, why don't I have my rocket's energy anymore? I don't know. Oh, it was, it was probably with the uh, eye bomb that you dropped oh. for Daruma. Bullshit. That's fine. Um, But, uh... Yeah, it's one of those things that, like, as soon as you feel your, your leg or whatever going numb, you could just move to avoid it ever happening, but no one ever does. Everyone waits until your leg is, like, fully numb and then moves. Like, I want my leg to feel like a limp mass of meat. <laughs> yeah. And that's always one of the concerning things, because there's always that voice in the back of your head that says, what if it stays like this? <laughs> or like, I always think when I do it, like, what if, what if, like, I put myself in a position where it goes numb, and like, I twist my leg in a way that would normally really hurt, but I can't tell because it's numb, and then when it's not numb, I'm gonna have a terrible pain. <laughs> it's like if you, if when you get like dental, any sort of dental stuff, and they, they numb your mouth, and you eat something, you can't tell if you like cut your mouth up on something. You have no idea. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I don't eat broken glass after the dentists. Oh, I do. Just a bit. Just a, just a small amount. That's what we call poor dietary habits. <laughs> my uh, my mum, when I only went home for Christmas, she'd had a, a wisdom tooth out. Um, and she'd had to go to a private dentist for it. Because she, she went to go to a public one. And they said, we can fit you in. But bear in mind, she went because she had pretty bad toothache. Um, and it was like, we can fit you in for June 2023. She's like, hmm. And then she rang up the private and they're like, we can see you on Tuesday. Dental service oh, here isn't yeah, the easiest to, go, to get. Dentistry <laughs> is, is one of those things that, okay, yeah, it, it can be expensive fine but i've been to the dentist it doesn't take that long no true i i've i like a lot of people i know are like scared of the dentist or hate the dentist i have literally no problems going to the dentist whatsoever you know i i don't mind the dentist at all i guess i guess i've just been lucky that my dentists my whole life have been like kindly people who don't yeah, yeah. like causing unnecessary pain. Same. Whereas I yeah. guess a lot of people who deal with like fear of the dentist have had people who are just like, ah, uh, whatever, let's get horrible, this over yeah. with. 
ripping teeth out without fucking no, wands not like and stuff necessarily like that. even horrible, just like not giving a shit. Yeah. Weirdly, um, the dentist that I went to, so I, I went to a private dentist as a kid because if you if you're a child, you can go to private dentist for free. Um, so I went to a private dentist, so they were they were pretty good there. Um, and um, we'll buy a key, and. I'd been going there since like since I was a child. Um, ooh, I do like the reek here. Does this thing open locks? I can't remember. It does, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't affect locks. That's the DL chest. I do want that. It's a very good gun. Um, but but yeah, anyways. So I've been going to the dentist since I was like three years old, pretty much my my entire life. Oh my god, <laughs> I want to be a big chat. Um, oh, that's amazing sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, that was in that was when I was very, very much obsessed with spam pong, and I, <laughs> I still am. I've just learned to repress it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I forgot again. And Daruma doesn't work on this bit. Okay, this isn't actually that good of a gun for this. Um, Big oh Shot gosh. has random projectile effects between a couple of effects. I didn't want to go for like status effects, Holy so I went fuck, for this like, gun's destroying this boss. Modifiers. Sorry yeah, for interrupting no you shit. there, but I what the hell? I told you it was strong. <laughs> What's the kill pillars? Their damage cap is by its nature like limp and Oopsie, floppy. I yeeted it. Um. <laughs> But yeah, what I was saying is I've been going to this dentist since I was like three years old. And like a great dentist. Um, and then I found out uh, when I got with uh, Katie, my girlfriend, when I got with her, um, I found out that her, her dad was from another city quite far away. And he went to school there and was boyfriend and girlfriend with my now dentist in school. Oh, it's a small world. Yeah, it's such a strange coincidence. And like the, the weird thing is as well, like he didn't even know that she was like in in uh, Hull. She didn't even know she worked there. He just like so I, what I, you're I, I like saying admit, is, I was in. What you're I, saying I, is that she's she's being in both your mouth <laughs> and your girlfriend's father's mouth. Probably, yeah, exactly that. Um, Isn't that like, is that like kissing him like 12 degrees removed? <laughs> if you want to think of it that way. Um, oh, I do. <laughs> but like, wait a minute, wait, hold the fucking phone. <laughs> hold up. I just realized something what? about that room that you were just in. What's wrong with Did it? Did they see it? I don't know if this is a modding thing causing it to be like this, or if it's just been like this, and I didn't notice, because I'm made of, I, I'm just a, I'm made just... Of I'm Jeez. a fucking mushroom, I guess. Look at the top of the room. There's a weird grey block there, right? Is that is that a real thing? Yeah, okay. that's, a, that's a wall okay. piece. So that would be because those it's I guess. Missing here as well. Look. No, no, yeah, yeah. Down there at the bottom, there's another one. Those are minecart blockers. They get automatically placed at the end of pathing nodes on. Uh, the mines, and I guess on the forge as well, because those rollers follow pathing nodes the same way minecarts do. Oh, so very I don't know why, but either some mod is changing it, or dodge roll just I think it's made it like so that. that pathing nodes on the forge get auto completed by minecart blockers, even though that makes <laughs> no sense. That's really weird. Oh, I, 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 I never I, noticed that before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's always been like that. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, something I found out, I watched a video recently that was like talking about a bunch of weird stuff in Half-Life 1. Like I watched it just after we played it. And do you know the, do you know the, the bit where you wake up in the trash compactor? <laughs> if you sit on top of the trash compactor, you know, you've got to like climb up them and walk along it. If you if you uh, use the controls to speed up and slow down the on a rail like rail cart missions, you can speed up and slow them down. They're they're, they're literally resprited like retextured rail carts. <laughs> the walls of that crusher. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I found that really Honestly, funny. Like knowing, uh, like Half Life One is another one of those. Like it's it's a classic, but it was it's also rather amateur. Yeah. 
And there, there were so many things like that where it's just like, how? <laughs> Why? Can, also, game, can I have some fucking ammo? I'm so desperate for ammo on so many of my guns at the minute. God damn. Also, this is getting quite tight spaced. Fucking hell. Okay, right, so what like what ammo do I have left? None on that. Some on that. Some on that. I've actually got a good amount on that. Most of your guns have ammo, just not the ones you want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much exactly, yeah. This isn't an ammo crisis, this is just a, a crisis. This is just me in crisis, yeah. Yes. Okay, I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like almost five in the morning, so I'm very tired. And I'm at this sort of point where whenever I get a frame drop in what I'm seeing on screen, I feel like my brain also has a frame <laughs> drop. You just can't My speak. brain is, my, yeah, because my, usually my brain's able to compensate with lag on like a screen, but right now my brain's like, why is time breaking? Why is time breaking? <laughs> Do you feel high? Like, what the hell? Where is God? God is dead. We killed him. We needed him to put oh time so back many, together. So many dual wielders. It's a mission to fix time. I want more ammo for this thing. This thing's so fun to use. Oh, you know what it is. I bet uh, it does. Like I bet Bunny removed whatever made it do like player damage, but kept like. Oh, it's probably just a fucking explosion effect. Yeah. That bunny set player damage to zero on. That would make a lot of sense. Ooh, I like this thing. Because an explosion effect has, like... Has those, uh... It, it can have, like, enemy damage and radial prop damage, basically. Yeah. And I bet bunny just set that, and that's why it affects chests. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Because, like, you, I forget a lot of the time that explosions don't have to deal player damage and they don't have to, like, do screen shake or have an explosion effect or anything, like, fancy. Yeah. Oh, there's a raccoon there. Give me no, what like... I need. I know he doesn't give ammo, but still. Oh, that's what I, that, that, that is something that I need. Thank you. Murder him. I did. Touch the cow. Touch the Do cow. Do it now. Do it now. What cow? Where's the health in here? This game's lying to me. There isn't health. Have we done here. that thing where it spawned it half inside of a wall? Yeah. And then, like, some effect pushed it all the way into a wall. How dare this game? It's messed with me for a while. Oh, look, it's ghost this, collisions it's this room again. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared and I need an adult. <laughs> it's just like, it shows up every floor, sometimes multiple times. And on the minds of the enemies in it. Excuse me? Bella? Why are you here? Um, what the fuck's going on? Why is he here? <laughs> Never named. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> what happened? What happened? Hold on. I, okay, I, I'm going to fucking start up my game and see if Bello replaces. Wait, what? I'm going to like, load the forge. Why is the big shot different in here? Oh, because I forgot to change the fucking Aminomicon sprite. Yeah. I'll, I'll fix that eventually. It's an inconsequential visual issue. Did you break everything, Never Named? Yes, I broke everything. Are you a failure? Ooh. Mm, you know I, you know it, you know <laughs> I am. Okay, I'm loading up, I'm loading up the game on my end. Gonna enter a run. Gonna load the forge and see if, yeah, Bello is there. Because I, I don't... 
I don't think I do anything with, like, level editing. Like, apart from adding new rooms to the room table, but that shouldn't be doing this. No, I have had it before where Bella has shown up in the forge, but I think someone, like, patched it straight away, but I can't remember what, who it was or what caused it. <laughs> okay, so, a moment of truth, load forge, with map. Nope, uh, source, uh, not so source, blacksmith is here on my end. Hmm. I haven't updated any other mods either. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Maybe this is just a peculiar run. You know what? Uh, send me your output log after this and I'll see if I can find anything. Cool. Outside of everything that I know I'll find. Namely, everything that's always in every single one of your output logs. Yeah. Which is the same error spammed 600 <laughs> times. I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, ammo for bullet hell. See, turtles are output logs. For anyone who doesn't know, an, out an output log is basically a a text document that contains a... What the fuck's... Who the fuck's this? Oh, uh, that gun you're holding, I think it summons, like... The holy friends, or whatever. Oh my god. I'm so very confused. Don't forget to use Daruma. I am using Daruma here. I'm spamming it constantly. This weapon is very weak. I thought it was going to be a lot stronger than this. This is a very cool gun, though. I just wish it was a bit stronger. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. I might maybe say that the depths aren't the best spawn, because it's created from permanent lasers. And maybe have the heart sound reduced a little bit. It's a little loud. Oh, permanent lasers, my beloved. Oh my god, I just... My, my weapons suck. Big, juicy dick. If that means they're not overpowered, that means I did my job. Like, recently I've been sort of dealing with a bit of a conundrum, like, wondering, do I... do I make the game too easy? I don't think so. I, I, it's hard for me to be objective, really, because I'm just like... I've played the game enough to be able to win with most setups. Like, do you feel that... Like, with mods, the game gets, in general, easier. Yes, definitely. Why? Because most modded weapons and items are just fucking better than the default games. And they're, <laughs> like, they're either in the wrong tiers, they're over, like, they're overtuned, or they're just generally more powerful than stuff you'd find in the base game. Usually more interesting and more enjoyable, but certainly more powerful. Do you I say that's say a problem with my mod as well? I wouldn't say it's a problem with your mod. I'd say that that does exist in your mod. There is there is definitely guns and items in your mod that are quite strong, especially stronger than base game stuff. But I wouldn't say it's a huge problem. It, it's not consistent all over your mod. Because um, like, somebody came into the modding chat a while ago which who made me ask this question. They were like, I, I like modding and I want to play modding, but it just makes the game too easy for me. I can't kill his fucking heart because he keeps dropping these shits on me. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say basically in a lot of games it makes it a lot easier. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it makes it a lot easier in Gungeon. I would just say it makes it a bit easier. It makes it generally, ge yeah, generally a little easier, but not a lot easier. I'd say Isaac, however, modding makes it a best. lot, lot easier. <laughs> It, like, I do my best. I think you do a good job. I, I, I don't think I don't think your balance, your, the balance on your mod is too off. I think it's fine. So we we've witnessed something interesting this room in particular, namely the uh, scusket bullet, uh, the scusket scullet bullet, which is currently floating on the left of the screen. Uh, and the uh, immortal death lasers. 
Oh, and his little staff. And the immortal <laughs> debt VFX. Wait, no, hold, hold the fucking phone. Wait a minute. Something's gone very wrong here, my friend. Where is this gonna take me? It will take you to bullet hell. Uh, I know that much because <laughs> elevators are configured to just go to the next floor. And in this case, the next floor is bullet hell. It shouldn't be there, but it will take you to bullet hell. What the fuck? <laughs> Can someone please tell me what the fuck is going on with this floor and why it suddenly decided to trigger it's, when Turtle updated my it's mod? It's just my cursed game. My Gungeon yeah, is legit cursed. cursed. You are going to get so a creep Wait, 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 wait. First things first, I have to go and check the last comment that Bunny gave me on my Gungeon episode telling me what statues I had left to purify. Because I keep forgetting. Uh, they're just, they're just, Hello? They're, did the statues even spawn? Yeah. Because I didn't even see them. Right. Bunny comment, where are you? Um, well, I'm 90% sure you need to clear petrification and bolstering. Well, isn't the petrification shrine just going to be terrible? Wait, I don't know what... They don't have names. Which one's which? Okay, this one's petrified. There. And... Uh, that's darkness. So this one's bolstering. So that, that should be bolstering, I guess. I guess. I might die doing this, but what the hell. To be fair, my weapons are just gosh down awful. Yeah, well, we're going to need some help from people who know what they're doing on this, because I don't. I'm a scared boy. Okay, uh, to be fair, the curse of petrification doesn't make things... In particularly any harder than it already was. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The remnant. I'm a little annoyed that I just seem to have fuck all ammo on all of my good guns. This room's... Th this room, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst rooms in vanilla. It's so boring. It just... It's so... It, there's always one enemy left at the other side of the map that you can't fucking find. Always. Yeah, I know, and the giant pixel art cock in the middle doesn't help. I know. Exactly. Who would make giant rooms that are this big? They're obnoxious, they're terrible. Yeah, I know. Oh god, my guns! My guns, they suck so hard! thing with Gunshin, it's not about your guns being amazing, it's about, you know, trying to uh, ah, make your oh. guns last. Yeah, it is. God damn it. Getting hit a lot here. <clears throat> yeah, I, I would say as well, while modding in terms of items and weaponry does make the game easier, modding in terms of the flaws, enemies, bosses, and extras that it adds make the game harder. So it balances out pretty well. Well, then I'll need to add some of those to my mods soon. Probably. I'm not adding enemies until we can get some sort of enemy builder working. I know I keep saying that, and it's been months, because I've been un unable to find someone to work on the UI with me. But, like, one the reason I, I want it is because it'll mean we can do, like, proper offsets and Oh my god, and this room is impossible, and... sorry, but... <laughs> This room, I'm just getting fucking shat on. I can't fire at anything. There you go. Good, it's okay. gone. Uh, no, you need to do one more room. I'm surprised you didn't notice, like, that was how the curses worked. I did not. That, like, you, you choose to petrify them, and then you do one more room with the curse, like, being, like, turned oh, up to eleven. Oh, just 11. stop spawning enemies on me, you fucking cretin. Piece of shit game. Like, Fuck. Oh, my God. Fuck this game right now. Let me fire. But, stop petrifying me. <laughs> like, in, uh, in Curse of... And then the Curse of Jamnation, you choose to cleanse it, and then the next room has, like all jammed and then it cleanses which is why it says prove you're worthy and yeah. it spawn and it, it always spawns a chest as well 
And since you've done it twice, I would think that you would know this. Nope. But you're... <laughs> paying attention is anathematic. Oh my god. If I can't get some ammo, I'm legit gonna kill myself. What can I watch? You, 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 you can take part, you can be the executioner. That's not, that wouldn't be you killing yourself though, that's not how that Shush. works. Shush. God damn. Right. Okay. Fuck it. Look, look at my guns. The fucking ice burr. Ugh. No, you stupid ch Actually, no, no, that's, a, does, that's an item. It does give us an item, you are right. It's an item, you dickhead. You dolt. I don't want to fight a bulletkin for a free item. He's a bit- he's looking a bit scary. You know? And I wouldn't want to cleanse my curse of whatever on a bulletkin. I got a calendar. Decreases the speed of enemies' bullets. And I got... What is this? A box. A box filled with various stuff. It refills itself over time. Made by floating circle with eyes that hit something called encounter GUIDs. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Spoppy is really like a against oh my encounter. God. So that's just random bullshit go, the item. Is it worth taking? Probably not, considering I've got Daruma currently. Look at this! Just give me some ammo, you fucking pleb of a game. But those are the, uh, the cursors cleansed. They are. But I didn't get the unlock, though, so maybe Bunny lied to me? <laughs> nah, I don't know, but maybe Wouldn't I have to finish the run the first. Like, doesn't Bunny have a, uh... It will, yeah. Have I, need, a, I need to check it in, in the yeah. He does. Although I don't have to reprint it, it's currently printed from when I booted up the game. Bonnie! Sorry, I got a call to him, he's in my basement. <laughs> Keep him there for safekeeping so he will never escape. You know, I, I'm half expecting you to turn a corner and just bellow to be there again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bellow there. Damn it. This game needs to be, give, give me some shit to work with. Please. Oh my god. What is this room? Why? No. I know who made this one. Oh well, yeah, I know who made this one too. It's kind of obvious, but still. It can fuck off. I use nearly all- okay, at least give me a health, but I use nearly all my ammo on that room. Oh, I've still got to fight Hello. this shit head. Me about boss. this. Hey, you know, at the... least you won't nuke him. Well, yeah, but that's not a good thing. I need to be nuking him right now. I have fucking nothing to work with. This guy's going to kill me. But, alternatively, you could learn the patterns. No. Alternatively, you could shut up. Let me die. <laughs> Just die already. You big oaf. Oh my god. Oh, why is there so many of these things dropping on me? I feel like the most offensive thing about this boss isn't the attacks, but his health pool. Yeah. You're like... You're not losing health to him, you're just losing ammo. He's losing ammo and fucking time. I think I opened a secret room just then. Nah, I'm, I'm, I, I refuse to use the ice bow. It is too bad. I'm sorry to whoever made that, but bows just aren't fun. I made it, I made it, I made the ice bow. <laughs> yeah. But base, the base game bows just aren't fun to use. Making it an ice bow didn't make it any more fun. You retract being sorry. Right, um... 
what uh, what gun do I want ammo for? What's going to be the most efficient? Probably this thing, to be honest. Mm, not great. I'll take it, though. Better than nothing. Do I put my zero ammo guns in there and hope for a better gun? You don't have zero ammo guns anymore. Wait, what? you got a spread ammo box. Oh, i got a spread ammo box, of course. I was, like, very confused for a second, then. Ah, oh. It's literally, like... But it, it's quarter past five in the morning, and I'm paying more attention to the game than you are. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, no. This is awful. Everything about this, no. Eh. <laughs> That's kind of a fun room, but my god. I, I've got fucking tear bullets, and it's like, shooting through tables gives you more damage. Whenever I flip a table, it causes a fucking black hole. Well, I mean, if the black holes get, like, uh, post-processed, which they might not, I don't know. But if they do get post-processed, then that's more damage black holes. Mm, that's true, that's true. I don't you were there, fucking big boy. Pardon me. I ate soup just before this recording. I yes. was craving soup, so I made myself a nice bowl of 2 a.m. soup. I'm not a big fan of soup. I don't, I don't eat this a lot is, of soup. This is really nice. Uh, it's, it's canned soup. You, you pour the can out, and then you like fill the can out with milk, and you milk? pour it in the bowl, and then you microwave it for four minutes, and it milk. tastes great, and I love it. Milk? I've never had a yeah, soup milk. you put milk in. It tastes amazing. What soup is it? It's tomato soup. Okay. It makes it nice and creamy. Fair enough. I've, just, I've not heard of that being a thing before, but... See, I don't know if that's the intended way to use the soup, but it's the way I was taught to make that particular type of canned soup. And, like, I, that's what I've been doing, and it, it works. I'm gonna say, if it works... I say make canned soup as if it's cooking, <laughs> it's really not. I realise I've been going in a circle this whole time, wasting all my ammo. Good for me. It was a fun circle. We had fun, it was a friendship circle. At this point, I'm just like trying to get through this hope for the best. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do when I get to that boss. You have enough ammo to take down the lich. It's just about taking down the lich. Oh, you... This thing doesn't have the range I need. I mean, it's not even about range. It doesn't have the shot speed you need. Yeah. Like, it, it looks like it has unlimited range, but it, it has such low it shot speed that it doesn't... Take it's not able to reach to there, yeah. a proper range. This thing's out of ammo already. Calm down, you beady-eyed fucks. I'm still not sure what the lore behind these enemies is meant to be. No, neither am I. They, they, they're cool enemies, but I, I still don't think they fit very well in Gungeon. But that, that, Fabi Meter say it, it doesn't I, fit. I like well. them, and I, I think... I like them I, too. I, I think they fit well enough. But like, I, mainly, mainly I, gonna, I think they just, to yeah, mainly I just think they don't fit very well on the first floor. They appear on the first floor a decent amount, and they don't really fit on that floor very well. Like, let's be honest, BDs don't fit with the rest yeah. of the game either. I'm gonna say, it doesn't matter, because there's a lot of things that don't fit very well, so I don't really care. They're still very good enemies. Fucking die, you stupid skull bitch. I can't remember how this thing works again. Isn't it like if an enemy stood in the poison and I reload? If they are poisoned, oh, then you, you shoot them. They turn into fucking your creatures. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Right, good, good. The big boy, Gunky. 
the big chunga sir. Get yoked, bitch. Oh, right, goddamn. Come over here. Yokes. <laughs> it is a decent ammo saving technique. It is, it's just kind oh, of it's call. kind of sketchy to do. Oh, I need to cough. Go for it. I cough right into your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming God. down off a cold, so... Coming down with a cold, just kind of cold. Coming down off a cold. Ah, uh, coming down with a cold means that you're getting one. <laughs> I said off a cold. A cold. <laughs> a curd? I you're will, with curd. like, turn you inside oh, that, out. Oh, that guy turned into ammo. Uh, not ammo, ammo. Wait, I'm doing it too now. <laughs> that guy turned into ammo, ha <laughs> Oh my god, get off me, you fucking brainlets. <laughs> I just keep getting hit to bullshit. It's always my own fucking stupid fault. <gasps> oh, what is that strange green box? What weapon would be best to fill? This is the question. I don't know, Probably the Spamson gun, game. right? If you think so. It does good damage, so I'm gonna go with that. I need boss killers, really. That's just kind of my thing that I need most. Starving children in Africa could have eaten that bullet. How dare you shoot it? I just needed. <laughs> basically, I always people ask me why I do that. I always do that just because, like, if I've got a gun that's got, like basically a useless amount of ammo left in it, I just make sure it's empty so that when I switch between weapons, I can clearly see that it's not worth switching to. I don't want to give myself false hope when I forget. <laughs> I don't know being able to use the blowgun all that much, but oh, I'm a nick, I'm a dickhead, aren't I? Hmm? Could have been using the blowgun with the alchemical gun this whole time. Yeah, that'd make sense. That would have been such a good synergy. I completely forgot that I had the blowgun, to be honest, because I, I literally haven't used it all run. The blowgun's such a weird gun. One like of those ones I made because I, I, I felt. One of those ones I made because I felt like it, it it should exist, like, thematically rather than mechanically. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, how has Gunja not got a blowgun? Yeah, exactly. And considering how much I love to blow, I figured it was only, you know, a matter of time. <laughs> it's very weak. <laughs> yeah, it's weak because it inflicts poison with every shot. And guaranteed status effects are in themselves pretty strong. Yes, they can be, yeah. God damn it, I really wish I'd have picked up on that alchemical gun a lot earlier. That would have saved me so much ammo. Holy this shit, might be the room that I die. Jammed chuckle faces, I don't remember what they're called. Don't call me out on it. Looks so cool. You mean the little suck boys? Yeah, what else would I call? What else would I call? Suck boys. Where is this jammer man, sir? Where the hell's he gone? He's at the bottom. He's at the heel of the boot. Bitch! <laughs> He's got a personal guard. Oh, that's evil. It's gone now. Fucking get off me, you fat bastard. That took a while. There's another wave?! Funny, you big bitch. <laughs> Why? I suppose it is a bullet helmet. Why do you like... think he's in my basement? Oh my god, this room's taking forever. Are you taking a single damage in this room, though? I gotta say, I did pretty well then. I'm pretty proud of myself. Like, you did. It was an awful room, but you didn't take any damage despite that. So, do I take the. <laughs> Hello, Yoke boys. Do I now take the alchemical gun ammo knowing that I can abuse it, or do I take something better for boss killing? You can if you want. I think I should. Like, give it a shot. Make sure it's on, like, quick swap. <laughs> you did a, a, a nice bounce hit there. I did. That cube is scaring the shit out of me, though. Fuck off. This is, this is great. <laughs> I'm actually playing like, really well. <laughs> obviously, it's not that good on, like, 
uh, obviously it's not that good on like bullet kit. Yeah. But on bigger enemies, that's a fucking great interaction. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the thing about this gun. On its own, the gun is is very difficult to effectively use because it only leaves poison when you reload, and it only leaves poison pools as big as the amount of magazine that you empty. So it's not very easy to use. But when you get something that you can apply poison with elsewhere, it's fucking fantastic. Right, so I think we, we want to use Spamton right. first, Shotgun second. Right. And it's just don't, don't die. It's the Lich. You've done this a thousand times before. I mean, also I've got Daruma, which should make things significantly easier. The only increased thing that's gonna... fire rate is fucking the noises. It is, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that could really screw me, to be honest, is the fucking non-shooty circles. I had to manually code the gun so that it did like it did like a, a different firing noise on the last shot of the clip. All right. <laughs> which isn't a thing that's supported, I I think at least. Yeah. Or at least not supported easily in the vanilla game, but also wasn't that hard to code. Nice. Yeah, see, that's a cool effect. I like it. This has been a stressful ass run. This. I've enjoyed it a lot, though. Yeah, but, like, we found some interesting interactions. We did some unlocks. You're gonna hopefully do another one right now. I think we this is gonna be it as though it's, the worst phase no, as though it's already done. Because uh, of the fucking non-shooty circles. They're gonna make things real difficult. No, really? The worst phase of the Lich is gonna be the worst phase of the Lich? I'm shocked. I'm shocked and appalled that it would dare do this. Fucking die, god damn it. I wanted to save some of this shotgun ammo for the next phase. Apparently that's not happening anymore. Honestly, the blowgun has really like done what it was intended to do in this run, which is not be very good, but have you have unexpected utility. Yeah, it's it's meant to be a complete utility only gun. What the fuck is going on uh, with the visual effects of okay, this thing? Something's on? broken with the trail. I, I, I guess I, I literally I, ca to I the... can't fire the gun anymore. It won't fire. You're standing on top of a uh, petrified oh, thing. I just can't see them because this phase is broken. I forgot about that. I would get. I would guess that that's also what's breaking the trail. Yeah. The ground must be rendering over top of yeah, the trail. Yeah, it does because you can't see fire and stuff on this. Um... No, trust me, guys. It's a feature. I remember. I just like, can't see the petrification things. This is so annoying. On one of my first times ever reaching the ledge, I had lead skin, and I felt so bad because I died, because I I fell in a I fell off the edge, and lead skin <laughs> doesn't save you from pit damage. Yeah. This is so frustrating not being able to see these fucking petrification circles. Bunny, I'm just trying to look fix. at the. I'm just trying to. If he can't fix it. It's just the fucking. Lich thing. Bunny, please fix. Uh, I'm just having to look at my character model to, to get a feel of when uh, when I'm different colors. Like, I don't care if Bunny can't fix it. He Bunny should have fix. thought about that before he broke it. <laughs> Funny, if everything you make doesn't work in every aspect, why even bother making it? God. But there you go. I did it. I finally nice. did the fucking achievement. After all this time. That was such and a good And it's not going to count for some, like, fucking yes. reason. Nope, there it is. Yes! Finally. I can put the fucking... That shrine in the thumbnail. Finally. Nice. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> and are you going to put the blowgun and the alchemical gun in the thumbnail, despite them only appearing in, like, the <laughs> final five... Like, the, like the final 10% yeah. of the run? To be fair, not I have... Even, not I the have... final... Look, Three like percent, one percent. I have done that with Binding of Isaac before, where I've not had an interesting enough thumbnail item to get, and then one of my items on the chest has been good, so I put that in the thumbnail, despite it only appearing for like ten percent of the run or less. Cheeky bastard. Anyways, hope you people enjoyed. That was a very fun run, despite it being just so frustratingly difficult due to ammo concerns, but it was still. A, a, it was a very satisfying and hard-fought victory. 
I, I took on the challenge of doing the extra curse cleanses too, which didn't seem to give me an unlock. Um, I mean, I'll check that now. Oh, God. Um, I don't think it'll have updated in here, though, will it? No, it wouldn't have. Do it, yeah, because defeat the literal broken lemon remnant in hand and remove each hellbound curse at least once. That one uh, I so should it, have technically It doesn't done, even but... list them specifically. But anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Um, I'm sure Bunny will comment and let me know what's going on with that and if anything can be done or if I just missed one of the other curses. Who knows? He did it. He did only say he was 90% sure they were the two I, was, I had left remaining, so... Still a 10% chance it could have been one of the other ones. Either way, hope Bunny, you guys enjoyed. Please fix. <laughs> please fix. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sayonara, suckers. I stole your wallet.